Gaming on mobile is now a thing now, like really. And with the rise of the smartphone MOBAs, Mobile Legends, League of Legends, Wild Rift, man, things are getting super exciting. And you better get yourself a legit gaming phone, if that's the case. Just like the Nubia Play. And you know what? This is just much, much more affordable than its big brother, the Red Magic 5G. And even the Black Shark 3. All right. In fact, this is probably the most affordable gaming phone on the market right now. 144Hz AMOLED display, shoulder buttons, and even a full-blown console mode. If you're looking to level up your gaming experience, this might be it. Or is it? We've got to check it out first. And without further ado, let the unboxing begin. No. Yes. Here we go. Okay, so just like its big brother, the Red Magic 5G, it has a nice box. Actually, a nice cover. See? There are other colors. This is the actual box. Just black. Nubia. Here are my specs. 8128. All right. And here's the phone. We've got the blue color. By the way, there's a black one and also a white one. I like the blue one. And we've got here the mini box, SIM ejector pin, the papers, this is the manual, warranty card, and this extra one. And of course, the secret compartment for the cable and the charger. This is a 30 watt charger that is QC and PD, power delivery, which can charge a laptop. Nice. Here is the USB Type-C cable, both end to end. And what is this? Oh no, a dongle. Bummer, no headphone jack. And that's pretty much it. What is this? There's nothing on it. And here's the phone. Let me just slip this off. Boom. Now if you look at it very closely, the size and shape of the Nubia Play is pretty much reminiscent to the Red Magic 5G. That's right, that's the Red Magic 5G, only with a different back design. Same shape, same size. It's just that this time around, the design is a little bit more conservative, with a much more plain look. That goes from dark blue at the sides to light blue at the middle. It's also got this rainbow effect when light touches it. It's all pointing at the center, as you can see. Overall, it's a pretty likable look. It's simple, yet eye-catching, but not as good looking as its bigger brother, the Red Magic 5G, but it's okay, it's cheaper. Now this right here is glass. It didn't mention if it's Gorilla Glass, so you need to be careful if you're gonna use it naked just like this, cause it does not come with a case right out of the box, which is a bummer. I highly recommend you buy a casing for this if you're gonna buy it. Now the phone has nice curves. This, my friends, is very essential when gaming. This allows you to keep playing games for longer periods of time. So yeah, curve backs and gaming go well together. Now the phone is quite big and has some weight to it, but it's not that heavy, so don't worry about it. The grip is also pretty good, non-slippery, very nice. Overall, they got the design just right for gaming. Bravo. Now the Nubia Play also shares some similarities with its big brother, the Red Magic 5G. It also has some cameras right here at the back. One, two, three, four. That is some awkward placement right there. Maybe to balance the flash, I guess. Also the same, 5G, designed by Nubia, the arrow, and of course the Nubia logo. Now the sides is a little bit different from the Red Magic 5G. It is not as feature rich as its big brother. There are no holes for the exhaust fan, no seven pin connector, which is for the dock. So that means it has lesser peripherals. At the right side, you get the power button, volume rockers, and of course, the shoulder buttons right there. At the left side, you get nothing. At the top, a single microphone. And at the bottom, you get the loudspeaker, USB Type-C port, another microphone, and the SIM tray, which is a dual nano SIM card slot. Take note, it does not have a micro SD card slot for expandable storage, so might as well get the biggest storage as much as possible. And now for the fun part, the display. Guys, this is a 6.6 inch, 1080p, 144 Hz AMOLED display. That's right, it is the same display as the Red Magic 5G. Incredible. Now, if you haven't watched my video yet on the Red Magic 5G, it is one sweet phone with a sweet display, just like this. Don't forget to change your frame rate down there on the settings, 1080p, 60fps. Now to put it in perspective, this is the fastest display on a smartphone. Historically, it was only available on gaming monitors, that is 144Hz. Everything that you will see on the display is gonna look a lot smoother. From the home screen, Facebook, Instagram, everything just looks so much smoother and faster. And there are only two phones that has this tech. 
This and its big brother, the Red Magic 5G. But yeah, this is much more cheaper and much more accessible. But essentially, this is just like the Red Magic 5G in terms of speed. Well, at least for the homepage, doing social media. But in terms of overall performance, it is only 300,000 points. Well, it's half the performance, which is a mid-range number. Because yeah, this is a mid-range device. It's pretty much on the same level as the Huawei Nova 7i. Just a tiny bit faster, I guess. But still, that is an impressive number for a mid-range device. Now, as expected, playing games on this is just a joy. But don't expect it to play more than 60 FPS. It's not gonna go 144 hertz in this game. It's not supported yet. I mean, I don't think any game on the Play Store supports more than 60 frames per second. So the high refresh rate is only for social media and browsing. For gaming, it only maxes out at 60 hertz or 60 frames per second, just as you're seeing right here. But Vince, why am I gonna buy this if it doesn't support that refresh rate on the actual games? Well, you're right. It's pretty useless, but we do have this. It is a virtual space right within the phone. It actually looks like this. This is your home screen, your game home screen, if you activate the game space. This is the console mode, by the way. All it does is play one game at a time, no background apps. Now, the best thing about the game space is that it has a lot of gaming-centric features that enhances your gaming experience big time. For example, this panel right here, this shows up when you swipe left. This was also in the Red Magic 5G. Now, overclocking was only possible on PCs. You could only do it on smartphones if you root the device. But as you can see right here, it allows you to overclock the device with this interface. Plus, you also get this color enhancement right here. This right here enhances the look of the game big time by changing the colors and brightness, as you can see. There's one for the car, for FPS, and for MOBAs, just like Mobile Legends. Here comes Hellkurt. Boom. And I just died. But wait, can your phone do this? Right trigger? Left trigger. Left trigger, right trigger. Awesome, right? It turns your phone into a gamepad. Let me just show you that again. Right trigger and left trigger. And as you can see, I did not press any buttons on the display, just on the triggers. Well, that's because I have this, shoulder triggers. Just turn on, it's gonna activate the shoulder buttons. You can even change the sensitivity and even have vibration feedback. And right down here is the main functionality of the shoulder buttons, which is you can map the left and right trigger to whatever virtual button on the display. And in my case, I assigned it to the scope or the shoot button. Scope, shoot. Trust me, it's a big help. I am telling you right now, this is an excellent experience. You gotta experience this. It's amazing. And look at that. It even shows extra information, the GPU and the CPU, and even the network speed. And it even has aiming assist, like, you can change the cursor, boom, check that out. And of course, the best thing about the game space is that you can block calls or messages within the game. No distractions whatsoever. This is distraction-free gaming. And I'm telling right now that if you're really serious about winning your games, then I highly suggest you block messages or calls when you're playing. So another way that the game space works is a little bit different from the Red Magic 5G. It's not slider based. As you can see, there's no slider to activate the game space. And thus, you need to go back to the panel and click on game space, takes you back here, but you simply cannot go back to the homepage just like that. You need to click the exit button and there you go. Okay, so how do you go back? Well, they have a dedicated app for it this time around. So just click the game space and there you go. It's a little bit different, but it still works. Now in terms of performance, I am happy to tell you that it is quite a beastly phone. Mobile Legends, HFR mode, ultra graphics, shadows, the works. And so far, there's never been a lag or frame drop whatsoever in Mobile Legends. It is a smooth experience, my friends. And I gotta tell you that this phone just feels so good on my hand. Just one thing though, it's not as loud as the Red Magic 5G. Not as full, not as clear as the Red Magic 5G's excellent sound quality. So I would have to say it's only average. Now overall, the performance is quite good. It is consistent at 60 frames per second. Just don't expect it to go way higher than 60 FPS. I mean, it does have a high refresh rate screen, but it's not possible to go 144 frames per second. Oh, by the way, just like the graphics on Call of Duty on this phone, it just looks so darn good. As you can see, very high settings, very high frame rates. The graphics looks good, my friends. And it's not only because of the CPU and GPU. I think it's all thanks to that beautiful display. Guys, this is already an AMOLED display. It's 144 hertz and 
it's an AMOLED display. So everything that I'm seeing right here is just so, so luscious. I mean, just look at the level of detail. It just looks so good. I would have to say it's almost close to a PC game. And like I told you, you can always enhance the colors on the display. Let's try shoot for the first person shooter. There you go. Well, personally, I don't like the extra colors right here. I would highly suggest you go for the default settings because everything just looks cartoonish with that enhancement. But overall, this is essentially a must if you're gonna game. It's gonna be a way better experience. Plus, it has a bigger battery than the Red Magic 5G. Guys, this has a 5,000 milliampere battery and it lasts longer. And it has a much, much faster charging speed, 30 watts. So yes, if you wanna play games for longer periods of time, then the Nubia Play is the way to go. And generally, it's actually much better than any flagship Android phone out there. And it's all thanks to a combination of wonderful gaming-centric features. See that? Honkai Impact Free, 60 FPS. Boom. As you've seen, there was no lag whatsoever. This is actually the heaviest game. It's either this or PUBG. And right here in PUBG, just look how beautiful that is. That is HDR and extreme frame rates. Bam. Okay, so it's not 60 FPS, but still, look how wonderful that is. The clouds, the level of detail of the map, you don't usually get that. I mean, look at it. That looks incredible. I didn't imagine this to look good. It just looks so good. So as you can see, the shadows looks really nice. The grass, the sky. I mean, from a mid-range device, I wasn't expecting it to look this good. But it is. It's, it's a wonderful, powerful gaming device, which only costs $300. So, wow, 15,000 pesos? How is that even possible? This is the most affordable gaming device on the market. And it is great news for everybody. 144 hertz, 5,000 milliampere battery. The only thing is, it does not have RGB lighting. So, yeah. <laughs> but yes, if you're like me, I wouldn't care about it. Because what matters is the performance and how long it can last in gaming. Well, of course, we'll have to check first if the camera is okay. Because if not, you might need to buy a phone that has good cameras. But this phone has the Sony IMX582 sensor, the same one in the Xiaomi Mi 9T. And I'm happy to tell you that the cameras are actually good. The pictures that I got here is just fantastic. Colors are just, well, not natural, but very eye-catching, which matters. Sharpness is also good, and a lot of detail can be picked up by the camera, especially when there's good lighting. Now, what I like about the cameras is that everything just looks really nice and clean. Even the dynamic range looks really nice. Not so much blown out parts, especially in broad daylight. Also, the camera's pretty stacked. Look at that. It has night mode, pro mode, camera family. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. It has ID photo, boom, one by one, two by two, and it has art camera. Take a picture, and bam, instant art. And look at this, there's a lot of templates right here to choose from, so pretty impressive. Man, I was not expecting this. It has tons of camera features right here in the camera. By the way, here's an example of the night mode and the photo mode. And also, it has pro mode. Look at this, it even has a waveform, focusing points, AF lock, white balance, and lots of controls right here at the bottom. Now if that didn't impress you enough, wait till you see the video, it's crazy. It has this two modes right here, handheld and tripod. With the handheld, it pretty much enhances the stabilization. With the tripod, it's a lot less cropped in. And yes, here's a sample of that video. 1080p at 30 frames per second, it looks good. Very stabilized, like wow. Also, the image quality is just pretty nice. Very sharp and very detailed. And surprisingly enough, it even has stabilization in 4K 60 FPS, so wow, that is incredible. The Nubia Play is a great gaming phone, and it only costs $300. That's for the base variant, and up to $400 for the max setting. And I'm telling you right now that this is an extremely great gaming phone. And it's very rare, especially these days that gaming phones are being offered around $600. Guys, this is the most affordable option out there. And so far, I have been impressed with what Nubia is doing with its phones these days. It just hits the spot. By the way, if you want to see more gaming phones just like the Nubia Play, all you need to do is subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content right here at Tech Beans. This is Vince Amigo from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video.